Did you know that nearly 24% of students in pre-K through 12th grade in America's public schools are Latino? The massive demographic shift taking place in this country means there is no denying the crucial role the Latino community will play in America's future. Hello everyone and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Tradum. My guest today is Esther Aguilera, President and CEO of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus Institute. Esther, welcome to the program. Thank you, Robert. Happy to be here. So this is what we know. We know that there is a browning of America, if you will, where there are more and more individuals that look like you and I, and most likely there will be more individuals that look like you and I in leadership positions, not just for President of the United States, but Mayor, congressmen, civic leaders, and so forth. This is obviously a very, very good thing. Do you believe that from a societal standpoint, we're ready for this? Well, as the U.S. Census Bureau reported, and also New York Times, today, of all of the births in a country, now 50% of them are uh, what we know as minority communities. And large, a lot of that growth is from the Latino population. So 50% of all the births are diverse, minority, that is our future. Absolutely, nearly half of all the births in this country are of Latino descent. Unbelievable, unbelievable, no? Our, our majority, majority, minority. Unbelievable. I wanna talk for a few moments about the educational system, uh, the way we know it. Is it prepared to deal with uh, this unbelievable surge, if you will, of minority individuals coming into the school system? Mm -hmm. Well, this is not something that happened overnight. I mean, the, this trend uh, has been uh, projected and predicted, and we've been talking about it for a while. But you're right that uh, I think the country is now uh, paying, paying attention, more attention. Focused. This is the trend. And a lot of the growth has been in a lot of states in the south and southwest where we didn't see a, a lot of the Latino population in the past. So it's diversifying across the country. And, um, you know, I think uh, the public school system has been adapting, and, and it's, again, because it's not a new thing, they've been uh, living with this as sure. for a long time. You know, Esther, the unfortunate truth is I'm sure most Americans that are watching this program have only been paying attention uh, to this surge in the Latino vote and so forth in the population based in the context of the immigration conversation that's happening in this country. And that's a good thing and a bad thing, right? I mean, the good thing about it is that there are a lot of people that are paying attention. The bad thing about it is, is that unfortunately it may divide the country per se. I want to move on to another topic that I think is very important, and that is just what your organization does, the mission statement of what you do and how you're trying to prepare uh, future leaders today for tomorrow. Right. Well, on your first comment, I think it's important to, to stress and point out that the Latino population has been very much a fabric of this country since its inception. Absolutely. And so oftentimes the, the conversation becomes about new arrivals and, and you know, it's, it's much more complex than Fair that. Point. Now, our organization, we uh, work with high school students and young professionals. We're about developing leaders, and it is a growing demographic. One in four Americans that are 18 today or younger are Latino. With that comes a lot of responsibility. So our organization provides leadership development programs and college readiness programs so that we are training that next generation of America's leaders. And um, as you pointed out, it's going to be, there's a lot of talent out there. And for those individuals that are watching the program right now, how can they get more information? How can they get more involved? Great. Well, our website, okay. chci.org, has all of our applications online, scholarships, paid internships, public policy fellowships. All right. We invite them to come. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Esther, and keep up the good work. Thank you, Robert. And of course, thank you for joining us for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.